hey guys so welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm delilah from the simple way i try to keep it simple here you know showing y'all how to make delicious food and today i'm gonna show you how to make fried chicken okay so if you struggle with fried chicken then struggle no more i'm gonna show you how i make my fried chicken okay so i am starting out with eight chicken wings i've already cleaned them off and pat them dry with a paper towel okay so that's your first step make sure you clean your meat and dry it off okay so when i season my meat i normally don't measure it out i just kind of you know season you know until i feel it in my spirit <laughs> to stop okay so i started with Laurie seasoned salt okay um and i started there i seasoned the front and the back of the chicken and i also am seasoning it with the remaining seasonings that you see on the screen okay so if you are a newbie at seasoning chicken don't worry i have made this more than once and i have measured out the ingredients for you so if you click down below in the description box you will find the recipe where i have you know measured it out so i've added all of the seasonings and after adding those seasonings i'm now adding mustard i know this might look weird like why is she putting mustard on chicken well the mustard is going to act as a tenderizer it's not going to overpower the flavor of your chicken don't worry about that it will give it you know a slight tangy flavor but if anything it's going to really enhance the flavor and like i said it's going to tenderize the chicken so after you add the mustard just let your chicken rest so now let's work on the flour because we're going to season that too now in this bowl i have half flour half cornstarch the cornstarch is what's going to help the chicken um be a little more crispy like if you fry your chicken without cornstarch you're gonna notice a big difference so make sure you have cornstarch and so i have seasoned the flour with salt garlic powder cayenne red pepper chili powder paprika and accent well, accent is a flavor enhancer i don't know how you feel about it because you know it does have msg in it but however it enhances the flavor of the chicken so give it a try it's not gonna you you know it it'll just make your chicken taste better so after you have seasoned your flour make sure that you mix it well and taste your flour please taste your flour and you can make any adjustments to your seasonings if desired Okay, so now you want to coat that chicken with the seasoned flour, okay? So if it's easier for you to use a brown paper bag to do this or to use a container with the lid and shake it up, uh, you can do that, okay? Or you can use a spoon or you can use your hands. You basically just want to get that, that chicken fully coated with that seasoned flour and shake off any excess flour okay and you're going to do this for each piece of chicken okay and you also want to let it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes it should look something like this after about 15 minutes so i'm using canola oil now if you prefer to use olive oil not olive oil please don't use olive oil if you prefer to use vegetable oil or peanut oil you can use that as well okay and you want to add enough oil to your pot heated on medium high heat you want to get that temperature up to about anywhere from 325 to maybe like 350 i try to stay close to 325 and you're going to add the chicken you want to make sure that you work in batches you don't want to overcrowd your your pot because you know that will mess up the temperature of the oil and your chicken won't fry that well so anywhere from two to three pieces depending on the size of your pot is a good number to fry at one time okay you want to fry your chicken for about 10 to 12 minutes okay I like to flip my chicken about two or three times, y'all. I try to make sure that it's cooking evenly. 
And I don't, you know, really like burnt chicken. So that's why I will flip my chicken. I will rotate and flip it over, you know, as many times as necessary just to make sure that nothing is cooking too fast. Okay, so once your chicken is done, go ahead and remove it from the pot, okay? Make sure that you have some paper towels on, you know, your plate or whatever you're going to sit your chicken on top of. Those paper towels will help to absorb the oil from the chicken. Okay, so go ahead and remove the chicken. So before you add your next batch of chicken, make sure that your oil has come up to temperature, okay? So if you have a liquid thermometer, that's gonna be really useful when it comes to frying chicken. Okay, so this is what we are looking like. I have fried all eight pieces of chicken. My kitchen is a mess, which is why I just am not a big fan of frying chicken, but I did it. It came out really, really good, and I hope that you guys will try, you know, this recipe like I said everything is going to be down below in the description box okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below and let me know what you think and if you're going to try these uh, wings and I hope to catch you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye